Oh, hey, mateys. Greetings, salutations. Today, we are here to take a look at um, this palette. This is a five well ceramic palette with a mixing area in a tin um, that was in my father in law's stash. And we're going to fill it with five reds that I want to study upon and monochromatic eyes and uh, use in complement to the green ink that I like to sketch in. So this is the Like Palitra or Like? I'm sure it's Like. Like Palitra. Cute little sticker. This, from my research on the, the interwebs, is a rather large, well-loved Etsy seller, and this company makes a lust-worthy color wheel ceramic palette, and it is on my wish list. It's circular with the triangle and the color joints, and it's beautiful looking. And since I'm assuming my father-in-law uh, picked this up online because he hasn't hadn't traveled in quite a few years, and I don't think he's been to Russia in over 15, so I think he picked it up online. But this little palette is very cute and handy looking. There in here are a couple of postcards I assume came with. Um, there's all the social deets. And from Anna Paul Urena is this sketch and watercolor and this is said to be Nicholas Naval Cathedral in Kronstadt. I like that style very much. And there's these nice details, shading, color choices. Thank you. And this one is by, the art on the front is by Tanya Koch. And it's art supplies. Isn't that adorable? And a frug. The frug's not grown. But this is very cute. Art supplies and flowers and how creative. So, those are very cute postcards. All right, now we have this linen canvas bag with logo stamp. Stickers on the front and the back of the tin. Nice branding. The sticker is art by Studio Tamara. This Etsy store has ceramics that are just out of this world. So we have plain tin. I have magnets embedded on the back of the ceramic. Such a nice touch. Nice little stamp. And because it's magnetic and not glued in, I can put the wells towards me or away from me. Towards me or away from me. Do I like to pull or do I like to push? You know, great to things to think about. And it just fits so nicely. It takes quite a lot for it to actually come out. And it's just so cute. We have five, five wells, 
nice size mixing area. What can I give you that uh, will help you understand the size? Oh, a ruler. So this is an imperial ruler, no, no metrics. So it's 4.5 on the inches wide and three and a quarter deep. So bigger than an Altoids tin. This is a, a tea tin that I use for um, in-work mixes. And there we go. I am going to fill this with five quins in the red family from Magella. What'd you say? Five reds? Yes, five reds from Magello. This is pure pigments. And I'm gonna fill this now. Towelage of paper. Um, where's my... Pin of cutoffage and mixage, although there's no um, corners to fill here, but we'll leave it out there just in case we need it. And let's move this this way. Yes, yes. All right. Mm, Quin Red. Quin Red is PR207 in this set. Beautiful color. Next is Quinn Permanent Rose PV19. Semi opaque, semi staining. This is semi opaque, semi staining. And I use pretty cheap slash affordable um, watercolor paper from Moz Art for my white paper. Black paper is a different story, but that's because I'm an art on black paper kind of girl. Quinn Permanent Magenta PR122. Transparent semi-staining. So, given that I'm a black paper kind of girl, I don't play with a lot of colors like this. Once in a while I illustrate fleurs, but in general, I want to play with them more. And I like the idea of doing blue and green for the challenge. PR202, this is Quinn Crimson Lake. Transparent, non staining. Pretty color. Ugh. Ugh. And the fifth Quinn in a row, Quinn Violet. This is PV19 also. Semi-opaque and staining. And this one, oh, that's not it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Am I hallucinating? It's possible. Okay, PV19 permanent rows, sorry. And then that's semi-opaque, semi-opaque, staining. This is semi-staining. So I can assume, both by color and by the semi-staining versus staining, the uh, more saturated 
in pigment this Quinn Violet is. I could be completely wrong. Okay, so we got the Quinn Violet out. No major eruptions of the paintage. And we got the little pin. Come here, pin. All right. We're going to make these settle in. Because we don't like no leaky pigment. little overfilled here but I know how these dry and there is shrinkage and they should dry rather than run in my climate now if you were in a hot climate like Sedona or Southern Cal I wouldn't overfill these because before they could dry they're gonna run everywhere Just need a little convincing to fill some of the cornerage. Oops. All right. Next, we're doing the Crimson Lake Quinacridone. This is bloody red. Now, I know some people use toothpicks or uh, palette knives or paper clips even for this purpose, and those all work great. For me, the pen is narrower. It has less surface area to grab onto paint. Simple. full but it's a little thicker it's not as the it's more like this texture over here a little bit more gelatinous these are have more flow in their pier out of the straight out of the tube there we go and we are going to let these set and when they're set, I'll come back and do some fleurs. So the next part of this video will be silent. Maybe a little music over. There you go. So this is the Like Palitra and their five well magnetic ceramic palette in a tin thank you pops thank you pops you're missed be be well and learn something every day this is me signing off ciao for now